Today is a special date in the royal calendar. Princess Anne is celebrating her 73rd birthday. The king's sister is famously known as the coolest one in the family, and it's not hard to see why. Anne's been on duty for more than five decades, and she isn't even thinking of slowing down. Just look how seriously she takes her military ranks. As the general in the British Army, Anne stands out during every official event. Who couldn't notice her at this year's Trooping the Colour? Anne rode regally behind the king. What is even more remarkable is, Anne seems to stand as the sole woman among the sea of uniforms. You might be wondering, is she the only royal female in the British military? Well, not exactly. Queen Camilla is a colonel of the Grenadier Guards, and Princess Catherine is colonel of the 1st Battalion of Irish Guards, but they prefer for their titles to be just symbolic. Yet Anne is always ready to take it a step further. At her mother, Queen Elizabeth II's funeral, Anne became the first royal woman to march in the processions. She stood vigil by the Queen's coffin with her brothers at St Giles Cathedral in Edinburgh. At King Charles's coronation, Anne also had a crucial role. She was a gold stick in waiting. And gold stick was the original close protection officer. So that is a role that I was asked if I'd like to do for this coronation. So I said yes, not least of all, it I solves my dress problem. The Princess Royal has been front and centre at many royal events. She was actually labelled the most hard-working royal. Her Royal Highness embarked upon 214 engagements in 2022. She even surpassed the King himself, who participated in 180 official events. Anne is involved with over 300 charities, organisations and military regiments in the UK and overseas. Yet it's not just about numbers. Anne's work centres on sports, sciences, people with disabilities and health in developing countries. The president of Zambia even nominated the princess for a Nobel Peace Prize for her work for Save the Children. He praised Anne's huge contributions, advocating for youth rights around the world. At the same time, Anne proves that her busy schedule is her own choice. She never put pressure on her kids to follow in her footsteps. The princess's two children, Zara and Peter, don't even have royal titles. Fair to say, it was a brave decision for Anne to reject the titles given by Queen Elizabeth II. However, the royal family member shared that she thought first of all about her children's well-being. I think it was probably easier for them, and I think most people would argue that there are downsides to having titles. Royal family fans know that Anne's always been quite a rebel. She was the first princess to remarry after her scandalous split from her husband in 1992. She set an example for millions of women that divorce shouldn't be the end of a romantic life. And more importantly, Anne became a role model for her own children, in particular in sports. If you are impressed with her riding skills now, you should see some snaps from her youth. The princess was a professional equestrian. At the age of 21, she was even chosen as the BBC Sports Personality of the Year. And that's not all. Anne made history in 1976 as the first member of the British royal family to compete in the Olympic Games. Her daughter Zara followed in her footsteps and went to the London Olympics in 2012. She even bettered her mother and clinched a silver medal. Actually, Princess Anne's sports career became not only a source of inspiration, but the subject of jokes on TV. Take, for instance, this unforgettable photo from the Cheltenham race. Is this Princess Anne? It's Princess Anne, yeah. <laughs> But Her Royal Highness doesn't mind. And I frankly, you know, if I hadn't recognised the colours, I don't think I'd have recognised myself, so I wouldn't have blamed anybody else for not recognising me. Let us tell you, Anne knows how to have a good laugh. She used to be a very common guest on TV shows. She became the first royal to compete on A Question of Sport. She's going to clunk me with a bag. <laughs> it's a princess, John Reed. <laughs> Have you heard how Anne explained her absence at her mother, Queen Elizabeth II's coronation? They wouldn't let you go to that. They wouldn't let me go, yes. I missed it. I was sort of tied to the rocking horse and all. <laughs> And her wit has definitely stood the test of time. Just look at Anne's very first Zoom call with the late Queen Elizabeth. Can you see everybody? You should have six people on your screen. 
Yes, well, I can see four anyway. Okay, very well. Actually, you don't need me. You know what I look like. It's no wonder that Princess Anne has held the title of the most popular royal for several years. Her sense of humour, along with her unshakable strength, has captivated the hearts of people around the world. And of course, the royal family adores Anne, especially King Charles. The princess is apparently the monarch's closest friend. With her experience, she can support her brother in crucial state affairs, raise the ratings of the popularity of the family in challenging times, and just have a good time with her closest ones. Who wouldn't love such a sister, mother and aunt? Thanks for joining us, and don't forget to subscribe to see more stories about the British royal family.